Welcome to Bianchi Law Talk. I apologize for being a little late today because we're doing this now Sundays from this point forward at 5 p.m. Um, I've been kind of toying around with this subject. Many of you who know me know that I am a very, very deeply spiritual person, and I incorporate that spirituality in the practice uh, of law, uh, both as a prosecutor, defense attorney, always having an opportunity to help somebody, the service of other people. And um, I've been toying about whether or not I want to bring up this conversation, but today in church, uh, we had something very similar about service to other people and the wisdom of Solomon. So it kind of got me thinking, maybe this is a sign that I should talk about. Um, you know, a lot of people don't associate the law with spirituality or with, with God. Um, and whatever your faith practices are or, or not, whether it's just uh, being a, a, just a decent human being, um, I found that the practice of law always gives you an opportunity to be able to assist and help people regardless of what side of the fence you're on. Many of the people that come to us in my law practice as a criminal defense attorney now are broken, mentally ill, many of them addicted, um, and, and you can't help but feel sorry for them. And much of what we do is not just uh, trying to say they didn't do it. That's not really what most defense lawyers or good defense lawyers are doing. They're trying to show mitigating circumstances, explain the whole person, not let that person be defined simply because of a bad encounter. Now, that doesn't work or mean that they're going to escape all levels of consequences, uh, but I think that it's really important to be able to show the whole humanity of a person when when properly assessing cases. That was especially true for me as a prosecutor. I wanted to know the overall arching uh, arc of a person's life and not define them by a singular thing and try to come up with a, a formula that has deterrence and protection of the community, but also shows mercy and compassion. And much of this is very much informed by my faith. You know, I had an experience as a young person um, where I was actually considering entering into the priesthood. And uh, the priest actually dissuaded me from doing this, somebody I respected greatly, and indicated to me that you can do good works for people uh, just as much as you can as an attorney, uh, as, as being a priest or being a, a faith-based person in, in the actual profession of service in that way, pastorally. Uh, and that was something that always resonated with me. So one of the things that we try to do, and I've always tried to do as a lawyer, is that with everyone I'm coming in contact with, uh, regardless of I'm on one side or the other side, is to show mercy and compassion passion towards that person, understanding they're going through a difficult time. That doesn't mean I'm not going to do my job, but it just is a different kind of little bit of spin on that fastball there to make sure uh, that I'm getting it right, that the approach is balanced. What I've learned in the criminal justice system over the last 30 years, and much of this is informed by the background of my father, who uh, you guys know is 86 years old and still practicing law. Uh, that's why we call him the Iron Man. He's a tough guy. But my dad always told me that he loved the practice of law because every day you have an opportunity to make somebody breathe easier. Um, and I always thought that was really kind of an amazing thing, especially for a tough litigator like my father. He understood that there was a core value behind what he was doing. And I think recently, especially with regard to the vitriol in our political circles, regardless if you're a DNR or somewhere in between, uh, we, we see that there's a, not a lot of core values that we can uh, surround ourselves with anymore as opposed to just kind of being a tribalistic. That's the new word. I think it's, it's, it's an apt word. But I think that if we, we look at what it is that we do in our profession as attorneys, we have an opportunity beyond the law to be counselors at law, if you will, helping people navigate the difficult time that they're in. It's very biblical to me. I can cite multiple scripture passages, and I'm sure they're across the faith-based spectrum for all religions with regard to service towards other people. So um, I was always very proud and now in my defense practice that we we treat the whole person not just the legal issue and to be honest with you in the end we get better representation a better feel for a person and i think in the end have a better way of representing them now one of the reasons why i thought about doing this is is really in honor of a family member of my wife's side of the family who um is is probably going to be passing soon and he was a doctor um, and he was a beautiful, is uh, a beautiful man. We all have a lifespan. We're going to live and we're going to die. I talk about this all the time in the lecture of Joyful Journey that I do uh, around the country about the fact that on our deathbed, what is it that we want to be able to say had meaning and had value that will have a rippling effect going forward uh, in the service of people in the future? And, and this is a man who has done that, a gentle, decent, well-educated, uh, has his patients love him. You hear uh, stories regaled all the time about him. And so that was really what made me want to do this today. 
Uh, and, and then again, that, that church encounter that I had today just confirmed that for me. So um, for our Uncle Jim, who is on his cross right now um, and, and moving into another phase of the spiritual resurrection, at least we believe in. Um, and again, I, I apologize for being faith-based. I mean, no disrespect to anybody. It's just what I believe in. Um, it, you, we all go through it in the end. And I just want to be able to say that I hope at the end that my life is giving meaning to other people very much like our Uncle Jim's life has given so much, not only to his family, but the patience that he served. So uh, in honor of him, I'd like to say, Uncle Jim, life well lived. We'll see you next week, 5 o'clock, Sunday, Bianchi Law Talk.